Howdy y'all, just got some brand new shoes recently. I've used them a couple times, didn't have time to do an opening video because I got them right before I was going into a league, a uh, very important league, so I needed to use these. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you all a little bit of review after the few times I've used them. So these are the Dexter SST8 shoes. I have another video similar to this on another channel, the Welling Cowboy. I have that video linked in the description below. Those are the camo ones, but they've been discontinued. So I had to get another pair and actually red was not my first option. I do like the color red, as y'all can probably tell, but in the images online, it looked very bright, like blinding bright red, but they're actually a lot mellower than that. The brightest part will be the toe section. The rest is even more mellow than that. So that's nice. I do like Dexter's covers that they give with each pair of shoes. It's wonderful. It's not super stiff. I have some of the stiffer ones and they're just a pain to get on. But this one, it just, when you're trying to get it on really quick, it just gets on really quick and it comes off really quick. It's super nice. Some of the alleys that I bowl at are super dirty on the lanes. Some folks, they can bowl months to a year and it won't get dirty all i'll use it one time at some of the lanes that i go to and it just gets filthy so i have to buy some more of these front sliding pads i'm also going to get some that are sliding more sliding a bit less so that way i don't have to change my approach if i'm getting on sticky lanes or sticky approaches or slick approaches either or and just heads up i am left-handed so if you all notice that it does go this way but you don't have to buy left-hand shoes. They do peel off. So you can just switch them. It does look kind of hokey. I was thrown off by my last pair of shoes and I kind of made some videos about it. Like I didn't understand because if y'all look at it, it looks like they're bent inwards. Like you'd imagine the sole of shoes, but actually they're the same. It's just the shoe itself that's turned inwards. So this can go onto this shoe, no problem. And this can go into this shoe, no problem. So if you're right-handed, it comes standard as for a right-hander i just switch them around super easy same thing with the heels you want to switch those around you want to keep those if you're left-hander you want to keep them for a right-hander setting and i do enjoy these i had to get a little bit bigger size i think they ride about a size bigger uh, that's just me though for all the shoes and boots that i have i actually don't have shoes i just the only shoes actual shoes that i own are bowling shoes everything else i have is boots and i found out from my last pair that they were a little bit tight and I didn't care for that, especially trying to get them on and whatnot. So I ordered a full size larger and these fit nice and snug, comfy. They don't feel like they're slipping. They don't feel like they're all over the place. They're just nice and comfy. I still have my other pair as a backup now, even though they're a little bit snug, I'm just not gonna buy another pair just to have around at the moment at full price. But also, Heads up, some of the places, they're not selling the red shoes. So the Dexter SST8 shoes, they're not selling the best, the red ones. So they get discounted. So if you're looking for a little bit cheaper option, I was actually going to go for the white pairs because I like the classic look. If you like the 50s, 60s look of the shoes, they look really cool in the SST8. The white and then the SST8 is actually black, a little bit of black here and there. Looks really awesome. But I was able to get these, I believe, for 140 instead of 210, 220. And that was just recently that I bought them. So if y'all are looking for a little bit cheaper option, even if you don't like red, I thought they're gonna be a lot brighter. I was very pleased to see that they're not as bright as I thought they were, or they are. So just a heads up, if you're looking for something that's not as expensive as the, the whites or the black ones or some of their other colors, the reds seem to be discounted at some places because they're just not selling as much. And again, I didn't want to buy these because they look so bright in the images, but I have good light in here and they show up well on the camera that they're, they're kind of dulled out. They're not super bright. And I was very pleased to see that they work well in lanes. Again, I bought a size extra or size larger because it just the last pair, they're true size to all my other boots that I have. And they just were snug. A little bit too snug, a little bit too tight. So I bought a full size larger and they work perfectly. So I don't want to say just buy a size extra. 
or larger. Maybe ask the folks at your centers, at your home lanes, and see what they think. Uh, maybe if your shop has these, try them on before just going and buying them online because it sucks when you pay a bunch of money and then they're too tight. But also you don't want to pay a bunch of money and they're too loose. Uh, either or is terrible. You want something that fits nice and snug. So be sure to do that. I'll be giving more review later. I've only used these a few times, but they've worked great so far. I love the interchangeability of the soles from the non-slide foot to the slide foot. Same with the heels. Let me give you more review. I will be buying more of the standard. I believe it's an eight, number eight pet. I'm not sure about that, but I will be buying more of this one. Just so I have more for when it gets filthy, I can change them out, especially for an important tournament. In the PBA tournaments, I'll just put a new one on and I don't have to worry about any of this stuff, but at my home lanes or when I'm just going to random bowling centers just to get different lanes, different atmospheres, I'll use the ones that are dirty and all, but I'll also be buying ones that slide more, ones that slide less, just so I don't have to change my approach at all, change my timing or be worrying about it. So I'll be giving more reviews on it later, but I did want to get this video out there. Look forward to seeing y'all in the video. Bowl well. Have a good one. See y'all in the next videos.